everybody, Jewel back again with another cool astrology video. And we're talking about Moon in the 6th house today and what that's like when somebody has that in their birth chart. So this is not a transit video. This is about, you know, this is the natal, the birth moon in the 6th house um, description. So when we have this going on, you know, the 6th house is the, you know, the house of daily routine. The, day, the house of health. The house of... Um, uh, you know, what we deal with on, on, on a daily basis. So it really um, encompasses a lot. Our daily work, um, our enemies are found here. And um, talks a lot about um, the state of the, the health in the chart. So, you know, also um, you, domestic pets, domestic servants, our co-workers are also found in the sixth house. Um, so the moon. The moon is a lot about how we think. How we think and how we feel. It has a lot to do with the unconscious parts of the, the personality. Um, the nurturing parts of us um, describes the mother um, and the, uh, the you know, nutrition, um, things having to do with femininity, um, emotions. That's all about the moon. So when we have the moon coming into the sixth house of um, health, daily routine, all that good stuff, we see somebody who is generally very emotional about their routine. Their routine, you know, this is, you know, what they do day to day. This is, you know, their expectations of what they should, you know, do on a daily basis. That's very much tied to their emotional stability. And their emotional stability is very much tied to their routine. So when we see um, fluctuations, um, when something isn't working out, or when uh, they can't do something, or they're interrupted, um, when something goes wrong with the, you know, the daily routine, we can see these people really get emotionally out of whack. I mean, they can really... Um, not do well. They, uh, you know, they achieve their emotional stability through the stability of the sixth house. So if that's off, then, you know, these two things are very tied together. So their daily habits are very much a source of comfort for them. Um, or irritation, and it can be the both. Um, you know, their sleep habits are really touchy. Their um, nutrition habits tend to be... Um, uh, you know, more, more specialized. Um, there can be more food allergies, um, uh, you know, issues having to do with the health, um, and especially the emotional health when we have the moon in the sixth house. Um, they, you know, they're... Um, their bodies and their minds are very much on the same page when we have the moon here. So when they're not doing well emotionally, we tend to see that come out as a health issue. And if there is some kind of ongoing chronic health issue with a uh, moon in the sixth, um, we tend to see um, you know, the mental health can be impacted by this as well. So it's a lot about ups and downs in the daily life because wherever the moon is in the chart, that's really where we um, experience more of our inconsistencies. So in the sixth house, it's, you know, things related to the health and um, the expectations of what should get done on a daily basis. So they need to have more leniency in their expectations of how things should go for them or what they are supposed to be achieving on a day-to-day -day basis because they are very um, rigid when it comes to what they, you know, uh, you know, step one, step two, step three, step two, step four. They can be very anal with... Um, moon in the sixth house about what they will do and what they won't do and what they will do in a certain order. So um, there's more emotional suffering in general 
when we have this moon placement. This is probably the most difficult placement of all positions um, for the moon. Um, they tend to give their feelings away a lot. Water moons are the worst with this. They can be really, especially, you know, a Pisces or a Cancer moon, they can be very much about um, not not uh, keeping enough of their own, um, you know, emotions back from themselves. They can be too much about giving their um, emotions away in service. So this is also the house of service. And um, we see a lot of mental health workers and a lot of health workers in general when we have the moon in this position because they're very compassionate uh, with the moon here and when it comes to health they have um, a real ability to work in those you know health related fields and um, are just very adept at uh, you know taking care of others um, in you know anything having to do with the sixth house fashion um, we see great cooks as well and um, people that, um, you know, females that if they're, you know, a stay-at-home um, partner, they are typically very talented at um, the domestic scene. Um, so, you know, you need to look at the eighth house a lot when we see the sun, the moon in the sixth house to see what the state um, of the, the, uh, you know, the, the crisis is in the lights, life. So, you know, if we have like a Sagittarius Ascendant and the 8th house ruler, um, you know, would be uh, Cancer and that, you know, that is the house, you know, that the moon rules and, you know, the moon coming into the 6th, we could see more health and chronic health um, related issues here, especially if the sun and the moon are in, in conjunction. Um, and so you know, you, you need to see what house cancer is ruling as well. Um, you know, you know, where that is and, you know, what, what is going on, you know, what house, you know, that the moon is ruling, what is happening with that house? That will give you a lot of, um, information of the state, about the state of the moon in the chart of the, in the sixth house. Um, and, a bigger idea of uh, you know how this person is doing emotionally they can be um, their own worst enemy when we have moon in the sixth house they um, need to get out of their own way a lot of the time there can be a lot of worrying when we have uh, the moon here there's tends to be a lot of worrying about the daily work and um, so they need to do work that is emotionally fulfilling. That's really important for people with moon in the sixth house. Um, if they end up in a job where it is not, you know, fulfilling them, if they, they are not feeling, um, you know, a sense of comfort or a sense of accomplishment, um, if they are not able to be creative in their daily work, then they tend to become kind of bitter. They um, really need to pay attention to um, the amount of time that they are selling off in their life and make sure that they are um, having, you know, commiserate experiences that, um, you know, if they, so if they are in a job that they're not completely satisfied and they're having, you know, um, experiences that are very emotionally satisfying if they you know end up in a life where there's you know a lack of satisfaction in the personal life and a lack of satisfaction in the work life as well they can become very depressed moon in the sixth house and in fact they deal with more depression than other positions of the moon um, so it's important that they um, you know, take up work that has, uh, that where they can not just express uh, their creativity. Now, typically, you know, we're not going to see somebody, you know, that's 
that is in an extremely creative career when we have the moon in the sixth. It isn't about that. It's not really an artistic placement, but you know, whatever their definition of creative is, um, you know, you would actually you know, want to look to the sun to that, to see, you know, that information, where the creativity lies um, and how that plays out. Um, you know, whatever their definition of creative is, they need to be able to bring that into their daily work life. Um, and they need to learn to go with the flow when we have this, this position. Their bodies and their health are so tied together that, um, you know, they can become, you know, sick. They can become, um, you know, lethargic. They can develop diseases, and this is, you know, out of dissatisfaction or out of anger or out of resentment um, because their emotions very much determine their health with um, Moon in the Sixth. So it's really important that they um, stay on an even keel because they are just more susceptible to their um, bodies reacting to their, to their feelings. Um, so... They need to, you know, make sure that they are lightening up, uh, bringing in, you know, fun into their daily life, um, not getting too hung up on um, the nuances and the details of routine, and, you know, make sure that they're, you know, doing some kind of work that, um, you know, they can, you know, show their compassion, show, um, show up in the world, where they can show up, um, you know, in an emotional way. Um, in their daily work life. So, I hope you enjoyed this analysis of Moon in the Sixth House. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, and you can find me on Facebook at Truth and Aspect Astrology, and on the internet at truthandaspectastrology.com. Yes, I do private consultation, email for appointments, and be sure to check out my business partner, Seth Roback, right here on YouTube as well. He has all kinds of super cool astrology videos, and I'll be back soon, soon, soon. Bye-bye.